Well, we're going to take a look at our, our last topic for uh, before the test, and that's the uh, some scale here and some distances. So we're going to look at uh, look at scale. Well, the two big ones we're going to use are going to be the astronomical unit and a light year. So we're going to look at the astronomical unit first. An astronomical unit is an AU, and that's an astronomical. Astronomical unit. And this astronomical unit is the, the length of the semi-major axis of the Earth's orbit. So let me see if I can get a different color here. If you remember, we've been talking about elliptical orbits. Well, if the sun is the, the foci, this would be the semi-major ax, axis on here. It's actually one half, roughly, of the, uh, of the major axis. And so this would be the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Now again, these two are not in scale by any stretch of imagination. And this distance from Earth to Sun is 149.6 times 10 to the 6th kilometers. And uh, this astronomical unit is usually used for uh, measuring distances in, in the solar system. So if you're going to measure the distance to Mars or the distance to Jupiter, uh, you would use an astronomical unit. You don't need to remember the number. Probably the key here thing to remember is that an astronomical unit is used to uh, measure distances in the solar system. Moving on along here, Let's see if we can get the next layer. We're going to look at a look at a light year. And so the next one is going to be our light year. A light year, as you can probably guess, the distance light travels in one year. Since light travels in one year, and that is approximately nine point five times. 10 to the 12th kilometers. So when you think about a, a light year, light years are usually used to measure interstellar or between stars. Interstellar distances. Oh, for example, here on our little diagram on our on the left here, right here, you can see we got the uh, you know a representation of the Milky Way. We can't get outside the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our own galaxy. Uh, quite often, it's it's a spiral galaxy. Uh, quite often, they use Andromeda will look like it. But the Milky Way galaxy, if you look here, is about a hundred thousand light years across, and our sun. Our solar system is about a third of the way in from one of the spiral arms. So when you start talking light years, you're talking long, long, long distances. And we're talking you know, how you measure distances to the stars. The last one I just want to introduce you to. And let's see if I can get it over here. Is a 
is a parsec. Yeah, I'll get that out of there. Is a parsec. And that's another way to measure interstellar distance. You're looking at what's called parallax, and we're not going to mess around with that too much. So this is just a, called parallax of one second. And again, this is used to measure Oh, measure things that are really, really far out there. And it's just a, another unit of measurement for interstellar distance. But we're going to stick mostly with, uh, with the uh, light year and the AU. Those are the two you're responsible for. Now, definitely probably the, the best one of all is warp speed. Now, warp speed hasn't been achieved yet except in Star Trek. But warp speed is the speed of light. So when Captain Kirk asks Scotty for more power, Scotty goes, Cotton, she's given all she's got. Warp 10. So you can say warp 10 would be 10 times the speed of light. That's why Star Trek, USS Enterprise, can get so far so fast because they can travel multiples of the speed of light. Well, that's going to about do it for this particular one. Uh, this is the last one until the test. And uh, this is the uh, bridge of the USS Enterprise over and out.